In this video, we're going to show how you can take a simple American Flyer grade crossing signal and make it flash for alternating lights, just like the real thing on a real railroad. In a couple of seconds, we'll show you the parts necessary to do that and some of the steps on how to accomplish this. The first step in making this work is on the back of the crossing signal, you'll see there's this metal strap that connects the two bulbs together. To the left of the mast of the crossing signal, use either a Dremel cut-off wheel or a jeweler's saw and cut a slice in that strap there. Doing so now isolates the left and the right bulb from each other. Then you'll see I've drilled a small hole in the mast and threaded a small wire, yellow in this case, down to the bottom of the base. Solder that wire onto the left-hand bulb. Doing so now you've got a right and a left-hand bulb that are separated from each other. The other parts to make the crossing signal flash and the bell ring is this Arduino microcontroller. And you'll see there's pin numbers on the side here which connect with these wires here that then go to these relays. The pin numbers are pin 3 goes to relay 1 here and then pin 4 goes to relay 2 and so on and so forth. There's three relays involved. Two for the lights, one for the left hand light, one for the right, and then the third relay is for the bell. To wire up the crossing signal we have this power strip here which hooks up to a power supply, probably the transformer you use on your layout. So you'll be connecting the black wire to the base and that goes to the crossing signal. The plus 18 volts would be these two wires here which would go to the center terminals on the relays and then on the normally open connections on the relays would be the yellow and the red wires that go back to the signal. The third component now is the, the sound, which comes from this MP3 sound card, which has a sound recorded on it, which is stored on a micro SD card, and I download the sound of the ringing bell from a sound effects site and then copy that onto the SD card. To wire that up, we take one of the speaker terminal wires and take that to the normally open connection on the relay, in similar fashion as we did for the lights. On the center connection of the relay, we take that to one of the wires on the speaker. The remaining wire on the speaker goes back to the remaining wire on the MP3 sound card. The power connections for the MP3 then hook up back to a 5 volt Woolworth power supply. The next step now to make all this work is to use the Arduino IDE software editor in which you're going to type in the program code. The next scene you'll see will be a snapshot of the program code and you can pause that and use that to type in the code. After that's done, then we'll go and show how we upload the code into the Arduino and make the crossing signal flash and the bell ring. Okay, assuming now you've completed typing in all the program code, it's now time to upload that program code into the Arduino. And what you'll do now is you'll take your USB cable from your PC and plug that into the USB port on the Arduino. You should get two red lights on your Arduino indicating a connection between the Arduino and your PC. On the menu of the Arduino IDE software, when you, when you com after you compiled it, you also saw a command there for upload. So if you now click on the upload button, or the upload command, you'll be able to upload the software 
the software program from your PC to the Arduino. You'll see that it'll recompile the program again and then upload it. After it's done uploading, the lights on the Arduino will flash a couple of times indicating that it has uploaded to the Arduino. Not doing it in my case here because I've already uploaded the program. If everything worked successfully, when you touch the two contacts together, you should have your lights flash on the crossing signal and the bell sound come out from the, the MP3 soundboard. I should mention that the two wires we connected together to make the flasher, crossing signal flasher flash, and also the bells, was from pin number two to ground, which would simulate the contact closure setup that you'll have on your layout. In the credits, I'm going to have some links to a couple of sites, one to the Arduino site to download the Arduino IDE software, and then also a link to a website that has some very useful information about doing the wiring between the Arduino and the relays. Hopefully you've uh, got something out of this video and if you have any questions, those of you who know me in the Flyer Group, feel free to message me. Thanks for watching.